Here I am with uh, Kim, and hey. basically we're going to, where is where are we going to today? Uh, Gyubi, Japanese grill. Japanese all you can grill. eat. Oh, it's all you can eat? Yes, sir. In Japan, they have this like barbecue places when you know, it's actually smaller seating because everything in Japan is like small, the areas, the places yeah. you go to. Kind of like the Korean style barbecue. Right. Like, and then they just do it. And then normally Japanese people, they drink beer with it. Mm -hmm. Just chill out, you know? Mm -hmm. We had to wait till 7.15 because they're, they're packed. They're always packed, so you have to go in a little bit early and uh, reserve your your space if it's like one or two people, and then uh, and then they'll set you up with a time, and they'll give you a call for when basically they're ready for you guys. Finally here at uh, Gyube, and we have to have a whole set of uh, items here. So we got a whole bunch of beef, we got some chicken, we got some seafood, side orders, and all that sort of stuff. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. And beer. <laughs> and beer. So uh, we haven't had a, a video with Kim for a while, so to let you guys know, Kim is very busy with Lola's Kitchen. You guys check out Lola's Kitchen if, uh, if you can. Shameless plug! So you say that the, the cold soup is, cold noodles is pretty good? Cold noodles is really good. They even put yeah. an egg in there, right? Eh? Yeah, man. It's like boiled egg. Let's see how authentic this is. Oh, it's nice. It's not too salty. It's not too salty. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. We, it's our first time, so we just asked the waiter, uh, what should we get? And then he just suggested some of those prime meats and stuff like that. I saw us officially recommend you for the beef. Oh, the beef? Okay. Yeah, officially recommend you okay. for the beef. And? Yeah? Worth it? It's so good. I think this one's done. It's like buttery, you know? Mmm. Oh. It's like it just melts. And it's got caramelization on the side, the end, so it's like yeah. crunchy as well. It's just a pure beef. It's marinated so well that I don't think you really need the soy sauce that much. It's really tender, you know? Yeah, I think a lot of it um, comes with the sauce that they, they marinate it with. They should have a specific sauce, not this sauce. Um, it's called yakiniku. Okay. Yakiniku sauce. It's like a Japanese thing that they um, the yakiniku sauce. It's like a barbecue. barbecue that oh they really? Have. Yeah. It tastes sweet, but also garlicky at the same, gingery at the same time. Mm. So they don't have that. It's a unique experience. You want the experience? Of course. So yes, you are cooking it yourself, but it's an experience. <laughs> How is this different from uh, Korean barbecue? It is sort of Korean, just because they serve kimchi. Oh yeah? You already know it's not authentic. <laughs> the fish, the fish has to be done. Okay. Salmon. Wow. Salmon. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> hot! <laughs> so this one's got like a creamy um, sauce to it. It's got a... Pretty creamy though. No. I like it. I like the sauce. You like it? Yep. Cheers, bro. Cheers. All right, straight up. It's straight up. Thin, I eat the whole thing, but spread it with the hot sauce. Oh, man. Right. Straight the whole thing. For those that are wondering what kind of hot sauce this is, it's like the dim sum hot sauce. Is it? Yep. So oh. it's like a um, you know, regular Chinese kind of. Um, cheers. Cheers. Uh, are you supposed to mix it though? Uh, What's you the can rule? eat it whatever you want. Yeah, I think that's what Gene told me. Shout oh, really? out to Gene. What Shout out said? to Gene, the real Korean. <laughs> the real Korean. Oh man, this is good. Is it legit? Yeah, it's got that spiciness to it. Oh, that's what I love. Oh yeah. I'm hyped. It is hyped. Let's see. Yeah. Me, man, I like authenticity. I like authentic stuff. When I go to a place, I really want to experience authenticity. Mm -hmm. But I do respect the fusion aspect of it, too. Yeah, usually Kim doesn't usually go to the, the fusion places, but no. he's really enjoying this one. No. The price is the price because beef is pretty expensive up there. Yeah. Right now in the market, because I have Lola's Kitchen, right? So I know the prices of the beef yeah. right now. The short rib right now is in a high price right now. It's about 22 something per kilo, dollars per kilogram. Yeah, and that's the restaurants. And that's for restaurants. They're get already getting bulk discounts. Yeah, so right now is a good time to go here. In my opinion, it's very reasonable, you know? 
and also the location of this place is just straight downtown, so uh, it's, it's very convenient for everybody to just like have have this and then go out for another dessert or something like that. But they also have creme brulee here, but I'm not sure if that will sort of satisfy your, your dessert kind of meat. But uh, yeah, they have everything down here. And then you have like your, your drinks as well. It's just a good experience, man, for night out. <laughs> you know, you can go to easily go to a club after too. Yeah. You know? Well, Cheers, man. Tobu cheers. Tobu cheers. Mm. Okay. Interesting. It's like a sweet soy sauce. You know what's it's almost tastes like? There's a, a Chinese dessert for sweet tofu. We have um, with cold tofu and then it's like sugar syrup on top of it. It doesn't obviously have the sugar syrup uh, flavoring on it, around it, but this, the tofu has the same sort of consistency wow. as it. Hot AF, alright. Hot AF, I can't swear, so... Cheers. Cheers, brother. Mm. It's alright. Not my taste, but... Um, I've never been an Oyster fan, though. Never been an Oyster fan, we just wanted to try it out there. <laughs> Although this is what evil do in Japan. Yep. And just like, drink beer. Mm. And after that, they talk about Godzilla. <laughs> I remember when I went to Japan, they really like use a lot of like soy sauce, but like sweet. It's mixed with mirin. Yeah, this is sweet. This is a sweet soy sauce that they use. So that's very Japanese in a way. So in a way, it's a really nice fusion, you know. So it's a, you know. <laughs> so I don't remember eating this in a barbecue. Yeah. And I've had a lot of barbecues here in Japan, but the the flavor is still there. Okay. You know, so they just improvise, I suppose. You know. So it's a little twist to it. A twist. I mean, not improvise. Sorry, yeah, twist. Yeah. Twist. You gotta have rice though. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to eat too much rice though. Mm. But I, for me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Asian, bro. <laughs> I gotta have rice. It's almost like the beef. Right? It's almost like the beef, but it doesn't have like that 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 flavor that we're used to with the beef. It's it's really good. I like the. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. How about the flavors though? Like, it's more of the sauce. Like, you know how the beef one had kind of complemented with the sauce? The, the pork one's just basically just sauce. So Kim's gonna try out this thing. <laughs> As you can see guys, we're very... Um, immature. Mature, you know? Yeah. So this is, this, must be, this is the female part of the squid. <laughs> It's a little chewy, but that's what squid is. Mm. I don't see it taste any like I gotta eat this kind of mentality too. It. It's alright. Yeah, by the way, guys, you guys gotta get the um, the garlic, okay? You put, it in, you put your... it in your sauce because that's the Japanese. Um, I remember when I went to Japan, they have garlic. Well, they... Think. Okay, I mentioned so that I'll, earlier. I'll put some garlic in my. Uh... Yeah, that's how they do it. But more, be I mean. There's no rule really, but where, where I, what, I, what I saw and experienced there, mm -hmm. it was more minced. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so there's two different types of sausages. It's alright. Still looking for the beef over the sausage. And then the hot dog looking thing. <laughs> it literally tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> is it like a hot dog? Yeah. This is a hot dog. It's a sausage. Yeah, it's a hot dog. I wouldn't get that though if I'm here. Would mm -hmm. you? That's not a fillers. Yeah. You gotta go for the beef, really, man. Straight up. Yeah, we went for the sock, the seafood, the beef, the pork, and the chicken, and we saved the beef. Beef only. No, not only, but like definitely go for beef. Actually, no, the salmon was really good. Yeah. How does right. it go? The, this one? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's Frame crunchy. Relay. Crunchy? Yeah. Ooh. Crispy top. It's like a tart. Sorry. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good actually. Oh, wow. Really good. Around two hours anyway. We easily did the two hours. And that's like us actually taking our time. We didn't feel rushed. Did, no. you, did you feel rushed? No. I don't feel rushed. We had to like, we talked a lot. Yeah. So I think it was enough. So don't get intimidated by that, yeah. you know? Only thing is just me and Brian. I'm not quite sure if it's a bigger group. If you had a big group, that would take. That would you probably need more time, because just because like you know, just more energy, more like you know, talking yeah. topics, having fun. Yeah, totally. But you can lose people? your time. Oh yeah, easily if in a bigger it's a group. Big group, yeah. 
Oh no, you only get one. You only get one of these, so just one. Hey, you don't have to drill it. You drill it, Brian? <laughs> yeah, you should drill it. <laughs> have the, the honeydew one and then the strawberry one. No, we both pick strawberry. because I don't like honeydew. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to pick honey in the beginning because I want to be different. I was, just, I really like strawberry, so yeah, I'll pick strawberry. Touch the tips. <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> this tastes like one of those Asian candies. Mmm. Right? It's got yeah, the weird man. texture, just like those soft candies. It's really good, man. This is good. It, it, this one tastes like really uh, like a Japanese ice cream dessert. Yeah. I would say, yeah, this, this is worth it. Like eight out of ten. What's that really? No, that's high grade. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for dropping by, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, see you guys.